New final of the Sudderman Cup. China one love up after the mixed doubles, the first match of the type. Now it's men singles and it's Shi Wu Chi for China up against Ho Huan He for Korea. After that, we'll have women's singles and we certainly hope we'll get down to the men's doubles and the women's doubles as well. Quite extraordinary in the quarter finals yesterday uh, because three of the four quarterfinals went 3-2, went to the fifth match. Shi Uchi, the World Championship silver medalist from Nanjing in 2018, lost to Momolta in the final. But he's struggled here this week in Vonta as this man. Kuang He, the former World Junior Champion, won the gold medal at the World Junior Championships in 2013 in Bangkok, meeting Wang Su Wei of Chinese Taipei in that final. Well, he's making his second appearance at Sudan Cup. He was selected for two matches two years ago in Nanning. Red. And this, surprisingly to me, is the first meeting between these two players. Stéphane Vernet of France are on par for this one. The toss of the coin, and who won, Steve? Not sure. No. No. And nobody's changing ends. I do think the playing conditions are pretty good here. We would discuss it beforehand that perhaps the shuttle for the doubles players is getting a little bit of help on the attacking play from the far side of the court. So we'll keep an eye on that. But we really haven't noted much of a drift at all. He's 25 years of age now, born in Nantong in Jiangsu province has been as high as 252 weeks as t in total as world number two currently number 10. now he's in his third Sudaman cup campaign though in 2017 on the gold coast he was part of the team but never got selected so he didn't actually play while he was part of the squad all England champion of 2018, having been beaten in the final the year prior to that, 2017, at his first All England Championships. And as far as Shi Chi is concerned, well, he's lost his last two matches in this Sudaman Cup campaign. Ho Kwang He, yeah, there he is, the Chinese player. Not selected against Finland, but against India, beat Sai Pranith, then lost in the group decider against Thailand, which incidentally China only won 3-2, lost to Vidisan, and then in the quarterfinal lost to Victor Axelsson. And that puts China 2-1 down in the overall tie. So to his opponent, Ho Kwang Hee, the Korean, 26 years of age from Daejeon, 180 centimetres, that's 5 foot 11. And in the Olympics, he caused a sensation by beating the number one seed, Kento Momolta, in the group stage. Went through to the quarterfinal where he lost to Kevin Corden of Guatemala. Now he's been a busy man as you can see. He played against Germany on Sunday, didn't play against Tahiti on Tuesday. Thursday he beat the former world number two Cho Tien Chen coming from a game down. And then the quarterfinal yesterday against Thailand he beat Vidisan at 22-20 in the deciding game having been 
12-17 down in the decider. So the man in form for Korea, Ho Kang Hee, nearest to us, getting this men's singles match, second match of the semi-final tie, underway against Shi Uchi. Good opening rally too. That's gone long. Obviously, I've said the Korean is very much in form at the moment, won all three matches he's played having to come from 12-17 down in the deciding game and 16-19 down against Sweetie Sun of Thailand. I did wonder about his stamina, Steen, because I've thought at times in other tournaments that he's had the odd good result but hasn't followed through, including in the Olympics. I mean, he should have, uh, on paper, been favourite to beat Kevin Corden in the quarterfinal. Yeah, that's, that's very possibly... Um true but um could also be that um in terms of the olympics that he sort of uh, smelled the um semi-final a little bit too early and that he's much better playing upwards than playing as a favorite i watched his first match against uh, german uh, max weisskirchen and he was not at all convincing so it surprised me a little bit that um he beat Vitisan yesterday um and that proved to be a crucial win. Yeah. And I checked the coin toss, Jill, because I'm embarrassed that we talked about it before going on air, that I should pay attention to that when I missed <laughs> both the two first coin tosses. But uh, he won it and elected to serve, and she, she chose to stay on the, uh, the far side of the court. Thank you, Steve. Beautiful angle from Shiu Chi. So both of these men, three matches in the campaign so far. So this is a fourth for both. Korean, three games in all three previous matches, but winning them all. I don't know if you managed to see any of Shi Yu Chi's match yesterday against Victor Axelson because I know you were preparing for the yeah, afternoon was, session. I mostly heard it, had it going and heard um, you and Morton and it was um, pretty one-sided. It was and I felt Shi Yu Chi's head went down a little bit too quickly. Yeah, the thing is... Um, I think he finds it difficult against Axis, and especially in these. Um, I think he finds it difficult in any condition, but especially here in uh, a little bit slow condition because um, Axelson has um, developed his uh, basic game, in my opinion. We saw it the first time in the Thailand leg where he came out looking much stronger in his legs. All the little uh, extra steps were gone. Uh, he was rock solid. His defense was great. And that means it becomes really, really difficult for Shi Uchi to score against the Tall Dane. On the other hand, the tallness of Axelsen uh, does the trick because he can still score with his steep smashes and uh, slices against uh, Shi Uchi. Um, That's so, a beautiful block, wasn't it? So he's struggling against Victor, there's no doubt about yeah. it. But also, um, the fact that um, he comes directly from two weeks of playing national championships in... Um, national games? Yeah, national games for all China in, in um, so, all yeah. sports. Yeah. And first the team competition and then the individual competition where he uh, he wanted to beat uh, Chen Long in the semi-final and Lu Guang Su in, in the final. And I mean, there must be some fatigue. Yes. And I think we're going to see it throughout this... Um, 
beautiful period we're going into with lots of badminton again after mm -hmm. um, one and a half year with the uh, scarce tournaments. Uh, we, we're going to see not only uh, Xi Uchi, but we're going to see other players as well uh, having down periods. Yeah, that's only natural. You can't remain at the peak no. constantly. Misjudgment from Ho Kwang He. Brilliant handle. Yeah. Brilliant. And that's, that rally is a fine example of um, what we discussed because um, before he was able to uh, win it on that shot there, he had to uh, give away the initiative to Hill Kwang He. But he was, um, what was he, 180, 180 centimeters? Yeah. And um, the attack was no match for uh, Xi Yuqi. Whilst had it been Axelsen with his uh, added 14 centimeters, then it would have um, been a totally different story in terms of uh, angle. And uh, that means that Xiu Qi will uh, sort of survive many of the, uh, uh, not that one, but many of the uh, situations where he's forced to, uh, to lift and uh, pass on the initiative to his opponent. So that's going to be one of the key situations, whether he can uh, play with enough variation in his attack to uh, challenge Xi Yuqi. Yeah. Well, I have to say that in the last couple of months, this uh, Korean, Ho Kwang Hee, has made a real impact on world badminton. Not only his gold medal at World Junior Championships, he also won a bronze medal the year before his gold. But he's, you know, I was quite shocked to see he's 26 years of age now. And, you know, up until now, I suppose we haven't really heard of him. We haven't really heard of him, apart from when he beat Lee Chong Wei in the qualifying of the Korean Open in 2015, when Lee Chong Wei was coming back from a period out of the game. But he's shown that he he does have the ability to beat the world's top-ranked players. Yeah, I was thinking exactly the same thing, and um, coincidentally. Xi Yuqi, he also played in that uh, World Championship back in uh, 2013. I don't know if he was uh, at the maximum age, but... Um, no, he wasn't because he won a silver medal the following year. Yeah. So, um, Jonathan Christie was playing Kanta Sunyama and um, in the final he will beat uh, Wang Tsui, whom we also heard more from than the Korean. So um, they haven't really managed to develop him and sort of um, turn it out to um, a top player quickly enough, in my opinion. No, no because he should be at his peak, 26 now, but no really outstanding results on the Olympic quarterfinal. But he's four points adrift here at the mid-game interval of the opening game. Yeah. 
괜찮았을 때 저도 괜찮으니까 그냥 그대로 움직이는 걸 잡고 1분 1분부터 잡고 그대로 잡고 움직이는 걸 계속 이어서 잘하고 있어 잘하고 있어 So it's a nice little cushion for Shi Yu Chi. Four point advantage. Oh, took that early. Well, it's interesting in that rally steam, it was Xi Yu Chi who was doing all the moving. He, he didn't hit, I don't think, any shuttles to the back of the Korean court. The Korean was very much standing at the mid-court forward while Shi Yu Chi was running back and forth. This is better. He's moving him more in this rally. He gets the desired result. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, he thought it was called out, so he's therefore challenged. That's good umpiring, I like that, because it, uh, it was quite obvious the player assumed that the court, the court had been out, yeah. and he was quite right. And whilst the rules say that the challenge must be immediate, I like that umpiring. A little bit of common sense. Well, there's also... The challenge must be immediate. It's like the sentence is sort of snapped off. There is yeah. Something is missing from when you notice that the call has gone against you. Yeah. Yeah. Good pressure play. I think it looks like you might be right, Jill, that he looks a little fatigued in this match here. I've already thought that yeah. when he's hit that smash well wide a couple of rallies ago, yeah. I thought that's a tired looking shot. Yeah, that was not supposed to be returned either. It should be a winner or, as it ended up, a lost to shot. That's well played. Yeah. Drop shot too slow from Shi Yu Chi, too loopy. He's got to keep himself together mentally. Wanted to change the shuttle, showed the umpire that he thought the shuttle was out of shape. Umpire sided with the Korean. He's got to get, he's got to get his mind back into 
the job in hand. Boy, oh, that's a great shot. Yeah. Good comeback, just as I thought he was uh, more or less gone from this first game. A lot similar style to uh, Son on Hall, in my opinion. Plays from a solid uh, basic game, who... When that's the case, it often takes time to develop because you've got to develop sort of the uh, defense to withstand different kinds of uh, playing styles from opponents compared to if you have your own sort of attacking style then it's much more uh, easy to fine-tune that early in your career well this has been an extraordinary run five straight points to get back level Yeah, run comes to an end with a lovely smash across court from Shi Uchi. Unbelievable. What a rally. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Poor Kwang He was so far out of position at one stage, but Xi Yu Chi couldn't convert. I wonder if um, Xi Yu Chi has uh, fallen in the. Uh, Momota trap, so to speak, at the Olympics in the group stage match. Momota was um, a hit. 10-6. Peace and no danger. Just one more rally to uh, the mid-game interval and he never got that. Fell behind. 16-10. Lost all confidence. Tactics using the body smash that was clever from Shi Uchi. Differences, I think, so far, Steen, is the fact that Paul Kwang He, when he does get on the attack, he's penetrating the defense of the Chinese player much more easily than Shi Yu Chi yes. can he's penetrate his opponent's yes. defense. His defense is working really well at the moment. Those cross smashes from his forehand, they also hurt Momota a lot at the Olympics. Very efficient shot in um, the singles disciplines. Eight of the last ten points. Yeah. Very... Um, 
stereotype play at the moment, except for that body smash you mentioned, Jill, but otherwise quite um, predictable play from uh, Shiyuchi. No, that's not good. Ten of the last twelve points. Yeah. Um, the first shot, uh, or the second last shot from uh, Shiuchi, where he could put pressure on the backhand um, drive from Hiu, that's simply too loose. It doesn't really commit to it, doesn't get the right follow up. Yeah, finally, an opportunity for Shiuchi. Oh, nice cross court net shot. Oh, Oi. yeah, proves my point again. So he's waiting for the good opportunity. It's uh, a little behind mid court area and very nice uh, little clip with the racket there. Steep, not using a whole lot of power. So game point opportunities, having been nine fourteen down at one stage. gone long and 12 of the last 15 points from 9.14 adrift that is absolutely extraordinary by Ho Kwang Hee 21.17 the opening game in 21 minutes Well, what an astonishing comeback in that opening game from Ho Kwan He for Korea. Trailing 9 14 and ends up winning the game 21 17. And Chen Yu, the Chinese men's singles coach, looking a little uncomfortable in his chair there. Uh, I think he knows that. Um Shiuchi is, um, is struggling. There was a 
little comforting squeeze of the uh, neck at the end of the coaching there. I interpreted it as um, go on, give your best. We know the conditions. Give the give your best. Well played. Yeah. Interesting in the quarterfinal yesterday, the Korean won the opening game, was totally out of the second game. 21 <laughs> 7 he lost, and seemed to sort of save his energy for the deciding game. Yeah. And an Antonsen match. Yeah. Yeah, the from the uh, World Tour Finals against Victor Axelsen, where he gave up on the second game. Totally. Oh, yeah, good smash. So, tactically, or any coaching, whether it's the psychology or whatever, I'm interested to know, Steve, what you would have said to Shi Yuji in that two minute timeout. Yeah. It's, it's difficult because, um, I mean, it depends if there's, um, if there's nothing more in the tank, then, um, then you would have to revert to something, um, try to make it tricky, some flick serves and uh, go tight at the net shots and go for these 50-50 chances. If, if you feel that you're reasonably uh, comfortable, uh, I don't know if he, Maybe he selected um, the court the side that he find his worst uh, here, so that he's a little bit more confident on this um, side. But I think variation in his attack is um, is a must on the front court, but also the follow-ups. He's been way too weak in the follow-ups, giving too many chances away, where he's like um, the favorite to win the rally, and then the next shot makes it a 50-50 rally. Um, so you have a lot of chances but you don't convert and that takes its toll especially if you know that now he knows now okay oh, i still have to play two more games to win this yeah and and uh, of course the the team event might inspire you to say i gotta give everything but it could also go the other way and say okay i know i have a great team behind me so let's see okay jennifer has never lost and we have um a good women's star was we're gonna we're gonna nail it yeah. anyway uh, but as we saw in uh, earlier in the tournament um one of the japanese women's doubles players rolled her ankle it looked very nasty but she managed to carry on yeah. uh, and play you can't rely on that you've, you've got to look beyond the three matches you've got to say in case in case something happens, happens we need we need to win this before the fifth match. Yeah, exactly. China were a rolled angle in the mixed doubles away from being out of the tournament yesterday. Yeah. Now he's leading 6-3, Xi Yuji, but he looks like someone who's way behind. I know, this is... Um this is what I was alluding to earlier when I said that I thought the Xi Yuji's head went down a little too easily yeah. against Victor and, Axelsen. And he, and he didn't take advantage of the um, advantage he had when leading, was it 15-9 in the first game, where I think um, a couple of um, strong rallies could have um, sealed the game for him. I don't think he can increase the pace, uh, Shiyuchi, than he would have done it in the first game. I, I don't think there is... that possibility, so... He's got those covered well, um, heal the pressure on the backside. Great retrieving. Ooh! It's called fault. It's called a fault for not. No, for hitting the floor, I think. And I, I don't think Hugh knows what it is. No, nor do I. I wouldn't mind seeing that again. 
I don't think, is it uh, Jang Yong Soo behind that uh, mask there, the Korean coach? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's difficult Three. to recognise people. Uh, very difficult. So the call was the shuttle hit the floor first. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure he's got the adequate English to actually argue his case. And it also, I mean, That's how nice. much energy should you use? And he, he feels that he's been wronged, there's no doubt about it, but have you ever seen an umpire change the verdict? No. No. So... There's no point arguing. No, I, I, I take... I, I think Sometimes that's... it's good to get your emotions out as long as you're ready to let it go after you've uh, stated that you're unsatisfied because it's not going to be changed and if you argue and feels like it should be changed then you're going to feel even worse now a good lead for Xi Yu Qi here Oh, oh! Did that hit him in the eye? It certainly got him in the face. Yeah. That kill. She, she, yeah, yeah, did get him in the eye. Oh dear, that can be very nasty. Good shot. the body smash again and once again having the desired effect and it's a five point advantage here at the mid game interval of the second game the advantage as with the opening game with Xi Yu Qi It's extraordinary. I know she and Chi's uh, looked dispirited yesterday, but then he was he was being beaten. He's been in the lead in both games, yeah. and yet he, you know, he's not standing tall on the court as if no. to say, "I'm here and I'm going to beat you." No, he's not. You know, pay close attention to the uh, coaching situation where Chin Yu was. Um, Offering some advice and, and the face. I mean, often the players they go a little bit into themselves, so they can easily listen. Even though it doesn't, I mean, they're not totally eye to eye with the coach. They shouldn't be. But for Xiu Qi, it looked like yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm gonna give whatever my best is. And, and I mean, we might be totally wrong about this. He might be nervous or. Uh, well, let's land it in. But he looked like um, he was on um, 
the survival mode. I lift to the back court. Short. Yeah. Oh, good defense. Yeah. That final shot. Again, perhaps a little sign of tiredness from the Korean. Mind you, we said that in the opening game, and he promptly <laughs> won 12 of the next 15 <laughs> points. It's landing again. Yeah, always challenging. Made one challenge in the opening game, and he was correct. So it seems now that um, Xu Qi has more or less um, chosen to do nothing and just leave the initiative with the Korean. But he's wrong this time in Ho Kwan He, good call line judge. leaving it because it was near the side just didn't seem to move this time it's gone there oh unsided so the instant review system will adjudicate for us but no player is going to lose a challenge because it's the umpire who's asked for the review Good deception. Oh, you fantastic retrieval by Hill. Yeah, good rally. look as if we're moving towards a third and deciding game yeah, and very much the pattern that you mentioned Jill from yesterday yeah yeah points away from taking the second game, she will cheat. One point away.
Yeah. Had enough of this second game has Hu Kwang Hee. Simple error. And 21 9, the second game in favour of China and Shi Yu Chi. A little under 40 minutes into the match, and it's one game apiece. scene outside the arena. Slightly overcast today. And it really is a beautiful setting, isn't it? Perhaps that Hawkeye as well, making those pictures there. Flying high. And so this men's singles poised at one game apiece and this I suspect is more important for Korea to win this second match of the tie than it is for China you know, slightly more spring in the step as he walked back to pick up the shuttle there Shi Yu Chi Oh, that's all. Oh, it was going wide. Nice clear. Yeah. yeah. I like that punch clear from Shiu Chi. The dive gets back up again so quickly. And that, the punch clear, did the damage. Oh, Kwang Hee was waiting for an attacking shot. That's nice variation from the Chinese player. I think the second game, Shi Yuchi, he sort of uh, took the pace a little bit out of his uh, game and uh, let Hugh try to see if he could score and he actually couldn't. But now it seems like he's trying to inject pace again and then he gets counter-attacked. So, yeah. in my opinion, Shi uh, Yuchi, he should... Um, be very patient and leave a lot of the initiative to heal. Make sure that um, he's got to work hard to score his points, produce uh, high quality shots. If he's at the front court, then he can uh, perhaps uh, go a little bit sharper uh, at the net. But otherwise, wait for the really good opportunity and make sure he doesn't play himself out of it. This one is, of course, good enough. Look where the base position is of, of the Korean, who's so deep in court. Yeah. 
No wonder he was vulnerable to the angle across court. Oh, that's good. Stayed the Korean side. So, so far it's the uh, total opposite. It's committing 100% while they dived quickly on the Korean side. Excellent net shot from uh, Shiuchi. And again. Yeah. Yeah. Force the short left shuffle to deflect it by hitting the net cord from the Korea. Well, I think it'll take a monumental effort now from this man to get back in this match. I know it's only three points, but his whole demeanor his yeah. whole uh, way that he's losing points or rather she or she is winning points yeah the momentum clearly with um, she or she and she or she Another good neck shot. Brilliant. Well constructed rally from Xiu Chi. Far more positive, far more clinical in his style of play right now. It's magnificent at the moment. Oh. Well, it's been some time since we've seen a winner like that yeah. from Paul Kwang Hee. That's a fantastic shot to start there, Hugh. Oh, an error on the return of serve. to the net first in the Korean. Addressing the shuttle early. Yeah. Got so many options then. Committed follow up, and then um, you don't have to work eight, nine shots extra in the rally.
short. Now, and a six point advantage for Shi Yu Chi at the change of ends in this deciding game. Yeah, and look at the reaction there, Steam. We haven't seen much of that so far. No. We've seen a bowed head and wandering around the court back time. But now he can see the goal line and now he knows that um, he has options that are working. Yeah, I like the way he looked at his teammates pointed towards yeah. the clenched fist. I'm back, I'm on my way. So has the Korean Paul Kwan He got anything left? Well, if he's facing shots like that, it's going to be virtually impossible for him. And a wonderful smash from Shi Yu Chi. And suddenly all his uh, attacking shots are uh, well placed and um, dangerous as opposed to uh, that shot there. <laughs> and the first game where there was a lot of mistakes where it was like yeah. he wasn't really committed to them. I guess you don't get to win the Chinese national games by getting stuck with the first signs of um, a little bit of trouble on the way. Yeah, and that was his second medal at the China national games. He'd been silver medalist, lost out to Lin Dan in Tianjin in 2017. Missed it. Yeah. He's challenging. It's actually his first challenge of the match. Now, I thought that was just a fraction wide. I thought the line judge got it right. I think so too, but I've been awfully wrong this week. Well, I was 100% on the first day, <laughs> and I've gone downhill ever since. <laughs> How, how many cones were there on the first day? <laughs> no, there were quite a few. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky rascal. I heard some predictions where I felt I was fairly certain I was right and I was dead wrong. I heard a lot. It's also difficult. It's also difficult for the line judges because they, the the only thing they can judge from is the diameter of the feathers, so to speak. That's what you yeah. look at. Well, there's another challenge here. Now I saw that as in. Once again, I thought the line judge did a good job, but Wong Kong He begs to differ. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, well spotted. Oh, that's one left, yeah. just wide. It was only um, just before it hit the floor that that um, left the line, I think. I'm sitting directly over that line. That's landed in. And he's on a march now, is Shi Yu Chi. That's the third misjudgment in the second and the third game on the back line there. Now this is where, if we uh, presume that Xi Yuqi is uh, converting this to a win, this is where I felt that Korea gave, um, or is giving An Young Difficult working conditions by uh, playing uh, Shin Sung Chan in uh, both women's doubles and mixed doubles. 
she only played one of them. The men's doubles would have been the first match. And uh, I think Korea would have stood a bigger chance of winning that than the mixed doubles, and thus applying a little bit of mental pressure on Chen Fei if she's uh, walking on court, leading her team leading to nothing, then I don't see her getting very tensed. All right. Oh. Oy, 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 oy. Oh. How did he get that back? Tried to brush it off the top of the tape. Shiu Chi missed the shuttle and played a backhand cross court net shot. Look at that! Well, fantastic. That's just extraordinary, isn't it? I think you end up being right after all, Jill, from um, the beginning of the match where you mentioned the uh, hard work that he, Kwang He had to do to get to this match here. I think perhaps he has been running a little bit on empty, not really yes. able to um, inject pace in his game since winning the first one. This man, Shi Yu Chi, two points away from winning the men's singles and giving China a two love lead in the semi final tie. Match point opportunities. Only needed the one opportunity. 21-11 in the deciding game to Shi Yu Chi and China. Three minutes shy of the hour mark for the entirety of the match. Uh, but their confirmation of the score, 17-21, 21-9, 21-11 in the deciding game. And Shi Yu Chi having to battle from that game deficit. But as we were suggesting, it looked to me as if Ho Kwan Pi just ran out of steam. One match too many for him after his exploits on Thursday against Chinese Taipei, coming from a game down to beat Chu Tian Chen, and in the quarterfinal yesterday beating Widisan. 22 20 in the deciding game, just didn't seem to have the legs anymore. But all credit to this man, Shi Uchi. Stayed strong, straight, positive, and in the end, having lost the opening game, I really took command of the match. This is the final point. Wonderful straight slice. Lines. And now, right winner, and the victory to China. So next up, it's the Olympic champion. It's the women's singles, Chen Wu Fei, up against the Korean, who's been in great form. Unsi Young, this should be a great match.
So welcome back to Vonta, where we've got the world's best badminton players. We've also got a brand new app from the BWF, Badminton for You. Stay in touch with everything that's happening. It's just a touch away. So as far as the semi-final tie is concerned, China in a very commanding position. Two love 